Hello, my name is Monika and I'm a member of Bagnosis support team. In today's video tutorial, I will show you how to perform PTM analysis using Spectronaut. Post-translational modifications play important role in regulation of protein function and are focus of many proteomics projects. Spectronaut features an extensive support for PTM studies in the form of site-based localization, quantification and regulation analysis. It's all complemented by powerful visualizations and user-friendly site-based reporting. Let's move now to Spectronaut and I will show you how you can easily set up your PTM analysis over there. I will use phosphorylation as an example, but the same concepts are applicable to other PTMs. Direct DIA, with its combination of spectrum-centric with peptide-centric analysis, facilitates deep proteome coverage and unbiased identification and quantification of modified precursors. I will use DirectDIA to showcase PTM analysis, but you can apply it also to a classical library-based approach. Let's start with uploading DIA runs of our phospho samples. After selecting the appropriate FASTA file, you can proceed to the analysis settings. For the majority of experiments, the default BGS factory settings are applicable. For the analysis of the phosphorylation on treonine, tyrosine, and serine, you need to additionally select those modifications as variable ones in the search settings for Pulsar. Next, in the PTM workflow node of the DIA analysis, you should select PTM localization probability. This setting will enable the calculation of the localization probabilities for all the selected variable modifications. Subsequently, you should select here PTM analysis workflow. By doing this, you will enable phosphorylation analysis in a modification site-specific manner. Spectronaut will report quantification of each phosphocyte calculated from quantities of the collapsed precursors carrying phosphorylation at this site. The multiplicity setting will determine how to deal with multiply phosphorylated peptides and the PTM consolidations, how to consolidate the quantity of each phosphocyte from the quantities of the site collapse precursors. You can find detailed explanations of the PTM analysis related settings in the Spectronaut manual. Additionally, in the quantification settings, you can choose to normalize your samples based on phosphorylated precursors only. This is recommended for experiments with a phosphopeptide enrichment step. Afterwards, you can edit the condition setup or import already formatted condition setup file where each sample is assigned to one of the experimental conditions. Further steps in the wizard allow you to choose geo annotation file and start the analysis. Once the data processing is finished, you can review results in the analysis perspective. Among other available information and visualizations, you can inspect here the protein coverage plot with the PTM site annotation. Only confidently localized PTMs are highlighted in the plot. If you click on one of the peptides in the plot, you can additionally visualize its XIC. Furthermore, on the peptide precursor level, you can inspect PTM localization. PTM localization plot shows different possible modified versions of a peptide. For each possible modified version, you can find a list of fragment ions which are confirming or refuting the given localization site and their corresponding scores. In the post-analysis perspective, the differential analysis of the modification sites is available. Among other information, you can view the candidates list here. In the table, you can find information about the modification site with the collapse key that shows how the consolidation of modified precursors was performed for the multiply phosphorylated ones. For each phosphocyte, you will find its log to fault change between tested conditions and corresponding Q-value. You can change here default cutoffs and visualize the candidates in the Volcano plot. You can annotate here all the candidates of the differential abundance analysis or only selected ones. The modification enrichment plot is dedicated to experiments conducted with enrichment of phosphopeptides. 
It will show you the percentage of the identified precursors that are carrying a phosphorylation at particular amino acid in each of the runs. Finally, the PTM versus protein fold changes plot will show you protein group log2 ratios plotted against log2 ratios of modification sites. This plot will help you to identify changes on the modification site level that are independent of changes of the protein abundance. In the report perspective, you can find detailed qualitative and quantitative information on a precursor, peptide, and protein group level. For the PTM analysis, a dedicated PTM site report is available. Here, you can find extensive information presented in a modification site-specific manner, like site collapse key or PTM flanking region, where the modified site is localized in the center of the sequence and is surrounded with seven amino acids from both sides of the neighboring protein chain. You can also find here columns showing modification site multiplicity, the number of collapsed peptides for each phosphocyte, as well as phosphocyte quantity and modification localization probability. And with this, we got to the end of this video tutorial. If you like it and find it useful for your PTM analysis, please give it a big thumbs up. In order to follow our future video tutorials, subscribe to Biognosis YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.